we're gonna talk about some of the best Blender add-ons for simulation and visual effects that artists can use to save time and take their work to the next level. A lot of these add-ons are really good and can be relied on when it comes to creating visual effects, whether it be simple or complicated, and we are gonna start the countdown with Number 11, Particles Link. Particles Link is a tool that allows you to create awesome particles effects. This add-on makes it easy to connect a bunch of particles. It can also be used as a curve generator and particles tracer. There are unlimited things that can be done using this tool, especially in motion graphics. The imagination is the limit. Particles Link operates using two graph modes which can be a network or multiple lines connections. The good thing about this add-on is its ability to connect particles live and give feedback as you work on something. Also, it is possible to use multiple particle systems. Number 10, Shot Matcher. The Shot Matcher add-on is speed image margin workflow by analyzing an image or video's color range, which can be automatically mapped to the foreground or the background elements in the compositor. This is especially helpful for adding background images to the render or color grading visual effects. A lot of artists that work on VFX shots struggle with merging their render with the background image even when they are matching the lighting correctly. But there is one other thing that needs to be taken care of which is the color range. The term matching color ranges is called shot matching often used in the industry by compositors and there are other software that have their own ways to solve this but not blunder at least not natively and this add-on was particularly created for this type of work number nine material material is a blender add-on for creating animated water surfaces with low memory requirements and much less performance intensive than simulations the node group allows lots of changes to the material to be rather easy if you don't like how it works. This add-on is actually one of those minor things that you don't really know you need until you do. Because making a shoreline or seaside ocean scenery in 3D is a quite a challenge and also takes a lot of time to calculate, especially when the scene covers a big portion of the ocean. Number 8. Blaze Blaze is a new Blender add-on that creates cinematic fire shaders in Blender. It is good for avoiding the trouble of struggling tweaking materials over and over again to achieve a good looking fire and also as a result it will save time as well. It can be used for making different types of fires or explosions from making a nuclear explosion, sci-fi blasts or a campfire scene. Number 7. Advanced Ocean Modifier Advanced Ocean Modifier offers a fast and simple way to create an interactive water surface in Blender. This add-on allows artists to create a fully animated ocean in Blender in a short period of time. And it comes with three ocean presets for calm or stormy weather and something in between as a third option. All of this can be tweaked using the settings which can be useful for certain situations if you don't like the basic state of the presets. And for creating water and foam effects, cycles materials are already included. Normally we would create scenes in which there is a boat or something floating on the water. An advanced ocean modifier can be used to make 3D models float on the ocean surface or have them interact in a short period of time. Then of course, as a result, you can make objects, create waves and foam. Overall, this add-on creates beautifully animated ocean waves with foam effects, but it does not achieve a very high level of realism that we can see using Houdini by Frost or Phoenix FD for that matter. But if we look at the fact that this add-on is developed by one or two developers versus the teams working on the other advanced tools, we can say that Advanced Ocean Modifier is doing a good job so far. Number 6. Neoner this is a blender add-on for easy creation of various neon signs, lamps, pointers, and lights. What's interesting about Neoner is that you can quickly and easily convert any curve to a beautiful neon light. It does not seem like this tool can be that important or necessary, but it can be amazing for creating night city or street scenes 
also I think it's going to be great for cyberpunk scenes. This add-on is optimized for the EV render engine but can be also used with cycles if you want to. Number 5 Nebula Generator This add-on has been around for a long period of time but now taking advantage of the enhanced EV volumetric system it became much better. Nebula Generator also used some of the results and progress achieved by some of the Blender community artists and packaged them into one tool that can create nebulas easily inside Blender. There are a lot of parameters and settings that you can change to adjust like the color and textures of the gas or galactic dust, the number, brightness and distribution of the stars which is automatically created for us using a particle system. Even though it is possible to create amazing looking nebulas in Blender using this add-on, there is a problem yet to be completely solved which is rendering animations of those nebulas. The problem is not in the add-on itself but in the nature of how volumetric systems work. There are actually two generators that come with this add-on, one for creating 3D nebulas and the other for 2D nebulas. The 2D generator can be great for game backgrounds, animations or concept art backdrops. By default the effect is projected onto the background of the blender scene but also can be used as a texture on other objects. Number 4 Chaos Chaos is a tool that allows visual effects artists to create custom 3D explosions within a short period of time. With its assets, it provides the ability to procedurally add various particles effects including fire explosions, smoke explosions and various particle debris such as glass, concrete, rocks, tree branches, dirt, metal shrapnel, wood pieces and sparks. All of this can add a lot to the realism of the explosions. The 3D asset database includes over 35 3D models and scans of common explosion debris you would find in the real world. The developers made it so you can select and add this explosion debris inside custom particle simulations to the scene automatically. You can render out the debris fields separately to composite them seamlessly with a VFX compositor like Nuke or other compositors. Also, Kaios has preset materials to get different results whether you want a dust blast or a fiery explosion. Once added to the scene, you can adjust the settings further to get a more specific look if necessary. Number 3 Molecular Script It was written before by Pyroville and later ported over to Blender 2.8 by another developer. Molecular Script is a particles collision add-on that makes particles collide for creating certain types of simulations and effects and particles linking as well so overall it can be used for particle self-interactions, interactions with other particles and all types of linking that the script supports like linking at birth and linking after creation. There are actually a lot of applications for this add-on especially if used with other visual effects systems. The results are going to be beautiful. The molecular script is a fun add-on to use and experiment around with because there are so many settings that you can change to get different results. Number 2 Cube Surfer. The Cube Surfer was originally created by Pyroville and it is now ported over to the Blender 2.8. It allows us to remesh a particle system in real time and it works nicely with the molecular script add on that was originally created by the same developer. Using them together, it is possible to create amazing effects and high quality simulations. For example, we can use it to create bounciness effects using a soft body like cloth and solid bodies like balls. Also, it is possible to add tier effects with amazing results and of course long render times and these were just few examples of what Cube Surfer can be used for. Number 1 Flip Fluids The Flip Fluids add-on is a tool that helps to set up, run and render liquid simulation effects. The custom built fluid engine of Flip Fluids is based around the popular flip simulation technique that is also found in other professional tools such as Houdini, Phoenix FD, and Bifrost. 
and I think using this add-on is the closest we can get to the professional quality of the industry. There is a lot that can be done using flip fluids, for example generating and simulating millions of foam, bubble and spray particles to give a sense of realism to large bodies of water. Also using the viscosity solver it is possible to simulate thin silky smooth fluids, thick fluids that buckle and coil and anything in between. I hope you found this video about Blunter's add-on for simulation and effects useful. If you have something to add, please leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.